dear student today we will discuss the concept of trigger and databases how we can create the triggers what are the triggers what is the procedures to create the triggers and where we can use those trigger trigger is the database objects like different function and procedures these are the procedures that are stored in the database and implicitly run or fired when something happened in databases when different operation are performed like insertion updation deletion when user have to perform these operation so based on those operations trigger will be fired implicitly executed those operation so mean we say that whenever we are having procedure or functions those procedures and function must be invoked explicitly while triggers in database are invoked implicitly I mean when we have a triggers that will be fired automatically when any action performed when any process is done based on those process action will be performed like if we say that whenever user is updating the data or whenever user is deleting the data perform the action i let take the example if we are having one air reservation system for flights are there for each flight total number of the seats are 30 if total number of seats exceeds the value 30 then trigger will be fired that you may not be able to perform the operation similarly if user is inserting the record in a table on the holidays or on saturday and sunday as usually offices are off so trigger will be fired and that will not allow user to perform those operation right so when we say that these are trigger to generate when a specific operation is performed the related action will be performed right so in this way we say that trigger are the procedures that invoked implicitly that run implicitly are fired when something happened so when we say that we are having the triggers are there we must have to follow some guidelines for the trigger never defined or create the trigger for the duplicated features that are already built in oracle database in oracle database we are having some built in features like to reject the bad data right for that one we already have integrity constraint in a database bad data that may be related to the value of the foreign key must match with the parent key value for that one we are having integrity constraint is there foreign key constraint is there so for that one there is no need to create the trigger to reject that one record moreover uh, for creation of the trigger always try to limit the size of the trigger if we are having the size of uh, trigger is more than 60 lines then use uh, those trigger in the store procedures and call the procedure from the trigger when we say that we are having the database triggers are the database trigger can be used to perform different tasks like audit data modification in data modification we say we are having the different type of the dml operation like insertion updation or deletion when user have to perform these operation on any table like we are having the employees table is there user insert the new employee data or update any existing supply or delete any records to for the audit purposes 
when those operations are performed what was the name of the user who add the new employee or who delete the employee or who update the salaries of the employee or any other operation so for audit data data modification for that one we can use the concept of the trigger log event transparently what are the different operations are there related to those operations trigger help us to maintain the log like history of the employee okay. previously what was the previous salary of the employee what is the new salary of employee what was the previous designation of the employee new designation of the employee what is the date of promotion of the employee similarly if we are taking the example related to the product we said it to keep track of the different prices of the product we may be able to use the concept of the trigger similarly we are having enforcing complex business rule as i give the previous example and where we see that we are having employee or uh, any user may be able to reserve maximum 30 seat for airlines as we are having maximum number of seats or if we are having maximum number of seats are there 30 similarly that can be used for the replicated data that maintain the replicated data uh, some things that are associated that for each tables we may have uh, maximum number of 12 trigger with a given table we may have one two or n number but maximum number should be there 12 now in the trigger we are having the three main parts trigger event trigger constraint and trigger action when event occur trigger is fired right so we whenever we have our triggers are there so how we can define the trigger for that one we have the create or replace trigger name of trigger we can use before or after trigger event what are those events out there like we see that we are having that can be insert or update delete what else if we are using the update we can may mention the list of the columns update of salary update of id what else and then we have to mention on table names for each row if we are having the table level trigger then we may not we don't need to use the for each row but if we are using it for each row then it's mean we are having the different rows are there for all of those row we can use the new value as well as old value let me see before the trigger statements and after the trigger statement like if we are user are inserting the data so for that one insertion we are having the new values are there no old value is there for deletion all the values are the old whenever we have to perform the trigger if we use it everywhere before or after insert for insertion new value new dot column names for deletion we are having the old value no new value is available for the deletion and remember that one for updation we may have old value or new value we can use both of these how we can use it let me uh, try one simple triggers and then we will give the example here that i am taking creating one table select we have uh, create table emp as uh, select employee id we have first names 
we have salary i am taking these three columns employee id first name salary from employees table is here emp that contain these columns are there now table employee is created now i want to create our emp table is created i want to create or i want to create the trigger how we may be able to create trigger that this one trigger is related to the print salary then any user make any updation operations so as it so in such condition it display what was the previous salary what was the what is the new salary or even if we want to find it over here uh, the what is the difference between salary then we can find that as well so what we have how we may be able to do it for that one we have the create or replace trigger and name of trigger what what we want to use it over here name of the trigger we said that we are having the cell reprint or imply sale print that is a trigger that is the name of the trigger create or replace trigger and name of trigger now we must have to mention it over here before or we can use it over here after before before what before update on mention the if when update we can mention the column of update of salary and we are having the table name is here or on table name we have where the salary is updated we said we are in the emp when the salary is updated on the employee table right so that we needed for each row what are the different rows offer all the rows we needed okay so next one we have to go for the if we want to use it over here begin and then we want to use it over here uh, if we want to display when the salary of salary value is updated in emp table then it must display what was the old salary and what is the new salary of employee so how let's see now what if we want to save it over here we use it over here begin and then i have to use it over here end so close this one now uh, we have to view some uh, body of the trigger so for that one we have to use it over at dbms in the plsql dms underscore output dot put underscore line this one is used to print any line at dbms underscore output dot put underscore line if you are working in sql plus then it is necessary that you, you must have to go for the set server output on right server output must be on in case of if you are working the sql plus i will show that how you can write later on. okay dbms underscore output dot put underscore line so what we have we say that the old salary is our salary was now what we have how we can use it over here for that one we have to use these column marks and for old salary we have to use it over here in the word keyword old dot salary column name was here salary old this dbms whenever we are applying the update operation in the trigger it keep track of the old salary as well as the new set old value as well as the new if we are using old it's mean that previous before the updation those value will be displayed over here let's see how now this one is related to the old salary now if you want to display it over as a new salary 
so how we can use it over at dbms underscore output dot put underscore line uh, so we say that we are having the next one is colon new dot cell tree it will display the new cell tree now table are already created just uh, still now we are displaying only this one set if uh, when trigger will be executed so when any operation will be performed what is the operation update the value of the salary when the value of the salary are updated then it will say that the old salary was this one and the new salary was this one let's see we already have the table now let me execute it now trigger name of trigger compiled it's mean our trigger executed successfully now what we have to do select static from emp now what it will display all the records let me see that employee whose it is here 104 we are updating the salary of this one employee and uh, previous salary was here 6000 we are updating value how we can update update emp set salary equal to we set it we are having the 9000 where employee id is equal to 104 let's see now we are performing the operations now what is the operation that update the value that is our operation is there now what action will be performed it will display the old salary as well as the new salary let's see execute it now now this one one row is updated over here but it doesn't display any value over here so for that one it is very necessary we must have to uh, set server output on execute it okay now server output is on so when we have a server output is on now let uh, me ch change the values over here let i am using the over here previously now currently we are having the 9000 uh, and we want to make it change over here the 8000 let's see update imply set salary is equal to 8000 where imply id is equal to 104 it said that one row updated what was the updation old salary was here 9000 and oh we use it over here again old salary that's why again it said that's old salary was 800 let me update it and uh, let, uh, we are making some changes and the new salary was new salary is okay uh, now uh, i want to use some uh, other changes like uh, if i want to find it over here the difference of the salary, if I, want, I want to display the difference of the salary so for that one uh, i have to use the declare declare we say that uh, salary difference cell difference so we want to find it over a uh, salary difference what is how we may be able to find the salary difference so for that one uh, to calculate the salary difference we say that what we have in begin we have sale underscore diff that equal to there must be difference between the new salary and old salary so we have to mention it over here new dot salary minus old dot salary so this one is the salary difference now let's see uh, how we may be able to use print it uh, the values of this one now the salary difference is salary difference is so we have to find the salary difference so that will be displayed over here 
what is the salary difference we have to use it over here sell this so it uh, will help us to use to find the value of the salary difference here as well now let's re-execute it as previous trigger will be replaced by the new trigger so let me execute it oh it said it's a bad binding so if we are having this one we have to use it over here uh, assign the value that let me say that we are assigning the value zero okay uh, no uh, then declare this one we we must have to mention it over here uh, the data type of this one we said that data type of this one is the numbers declare salary difference data type of the, this one if you want to assign the value then uh, you can use it over here then that you can use it over here equal to zero but uh, no need of that one that, that is the number we can easily calculate it uh, so let me clear it now re-execute it now bad band so if uh, uh, it seems that we have to assign the value let's see now new dot salary difference okay now uh, we don't have the new dot salary difference we have a only salary difference is there so, uh, even so this one that is not needed that is a salary difference that was not uh, previously new salary is not calculated here just we calculate the between difference between the salary new salary and old salary and uh, we calculate it over here the difference of the salary so execute it so it say that trigger imply compiled now if we checked over here the salary of uh, this one so it displayed over here for imply 104 8000 salary is available we want to change it over here we say that we are using the 10,000 for imply id update imply that salary is equal to 10,000 where imply id is equal to 104 Upt execute it so it say that old salary was here 8,000 new salary is there 10,000 the salary difference is 2,000 and one row is updated so trigger when we update the record action is performed now the different action may be performed like this one is related to just display the value like we may be me we may be able to use it for the different type of the audit purpose audit data modification for the audit purpose let we see that imply table is there if uh, anyone update in an imply table imply salary so and so in such cases what will be happened uh, data will that data should be inserted in, in any other tables like we are having an imply table we are having the three different records here what are those emp tables we have imply id first name and salary are there now what we have to do we want to use it over here uh, create one new table table name of table we say that uh, imply audit for this one i want to use the column it over here uh, imply id now i want to use it over here first name then uh, want to use it over here the salary or even if we don't need a first name we just need the salary old salary and new salary imply id date type of this one is a number uh, then we need to our salary or we see data old salary and this one is also a number and we also need the new salary this one is all that one also should be a number imply id old salary new salary right uh, now what is the name of the users and what is was the data of the user so what we have uh, username so that should be here var char size of this one is here 30 and another last one we are having the uh, modification date updation date so modification date or updation date so date type of this one is here date 
now we are creating one table and the name of table is uh, audit and this one when any updation operation are performed on the imply table now one trigger is this one the trigger is that one trigger was just to display the salary now that action performed now this one action will be performed what action we want we see that when any salary value are updated now it must uh, display those uh, keep the records of all of those changes what was the old salary and what is the new salary right so that will be inserted that should be inserted in the employee added table and who was the employee or who was the user who updated and what is the date of the updation that should be recorded let me execute it this one is the table now we have to create the ticker create or replace trigger name of trigger employee audit trigger okay now when we are creating it where employee audit trigger so for that one definitely again we have to use uh, after update on when user have to update the value then action will be performed after update on now which one table is here table name is here emp we have to perform the operations on the imply table when changes were made then those will be saved that will be inserted into the imply audit table after update on emp now what the operation of the update update if you want to use over here update of salary usually salary values are updated so name values are the fixed and no need to make the change over there so we want to after update of the salary if you are not mentioning you can use it that is a optional for each row for each row now we have to begin what will be happened now we said it action is here on the table event is here that update the value of the salary on the employee table what action should be performed the action should be performed in those those value in the employee audit table that can be used to maintain the history as well how now just let we can may be able to insert the record insert into uh, we have a table emp audit now list of the columns are here employee id old salary employee id comma old salary i'm just taking the copy and then pasting it over here so then new salary then we have a username and last one we are having the modification date insert into imply added and these are the list of the columns then we have to use the the values now what should be the value of this one we are updating only value of the salaries it's mean imply id value for update i already told you whenever we are performing the update operation we may have old value as well as new value but for insert always new value for delete always old value remember that one so we have imply id for imply id what we have old dot imply id old value from the imply table that will be inserted over here for old salary then again we have to use the old dot salary and what the salary that the new salary that is updated over here that will be inserted over here also so for that one that should be here old uh, you must have to use it over there old salary then we have to use the new salary new dot salary we must have to use it over there in article this new column old salary new salary then we are having the username for that one we have to use it over there user so it will display what is the current username that will be inserted in this one 
employee audit uh, and we are having the employee audit table and next one we are having the modification date so for modification date we have to use it over here assisted also it uh, these things are clear and what we discussed now we have to end it no other operation that we want to perform it over here just we want to insert the data and that will keep the record so let me select it over here and we have to clear it execute it so it set it trigger imply added trigger that is compiled that is successful let we are updating the record any record from the emp table select direct from emp now record is over here we are having we, if we want to update the record let me say employee id is here 107 salary is here 4200 we are updating this one update emp set salary equal to we say that we are having the 7500 where employee id is equal to 107 we are updating the value of employee id and employee id value is here 107 updated one row is updated now it displayed over here the previous trigger value now on this one table we have the two different trigger maximum number of the trigger on each table can be 12 right although we can disable we can remove drop table we can enable table all of those operations that we can perform previous table previous trigger was related that to just uh, to display old salary and new salary now if we want to check it over here what had happened with the employee added this one that if you are closing it these things will be moved but what we have the that trigger value that are we store it over here in the employee audit table so that will be there let's see that those values are there or not it, here it display only it display all the record employee table but uh, when we set it select static from employee audit so it will be display only one record let employee id no name is here we didn't mention it over there old salary was here 4200 new salary was here 7500 now username is here hr and modification that was that is nine number 2020 so in this way we may be able to perform the operation also these things will be clear to all of you now till now what we did we just uh, update the records and uh, updation operation we performed it over here if we want to perform any other operations uh, related to the trigger that uh, like uh, price table is there for the price we may be able to perform the different type of the operations so we can also perform to keep track of the different uh, prices similarly uh, Uh, let uh, if we are having the table is available uh, user want to insert the data update the data delete the data so and we want to restrict the user that uh, user may not be able to perform any operations on the such a day or sunday or if we are having a specific timing let uh, at the night times that uh, after the 6 pm to 12 pm so user are 11 pm user is not allowed so how we may be able to restrict so for that one we have to write another trigger right table again we have the same emp table is available we are creating the trigger name of uh, trigger uh, i am using it over uh, my trigger and then the or we see it uh, secure emp square trigger this one trigger will make 
so we'll take care of the security of variable that user even the valid user authorized user may not be able to perform the operation with the data on at the specific times so how create or replace trigger name of trigger before what we before uh, we say delete or insert or update any operation if user want to perform any operation like conversion updation deletion so before insert or update or delete it will check the system time right so that will be on insert or update or delete on we are having the any specific table so table is here on we mention it over here all other of database user may be able to perform the operation but let we are assuming that user may not be able to perform the operation on the emp table right so for that one uh, what we have to do begin now if uh, we have to find it over here the day so for that one how to find the saturday and sunday so for that one we are having the uh, two character uh, let uh, first let me check how we may be able to check it over here select uh, two character function and in two characters let we have the uh, assist date and in this date uh, we want to display it over here the day so so that will be display the value of the day from there this one query will be able to display the value of the day what is day today so it displayed over here the monday so if we see that uh, if two characters if two character and we are mentioning that user may not be able to perform the operation on sunday so for that one and list or saturday so for that one we see that's a sunday or even if you want to set it or what we have today is monday so let me write it over here monday so that uh, if we will try to perform the operation that will not allow or even set it use it over as such so for the time we will restrict it over here that uh, this time user may not be able to perform any operation it should display the error message right or if you are having time is this one or if two character sys date day is sunday or saturday right so in such such condition it will find it over here or we see that uh, time between or what we see time Uh, let me check the time out over here for the times we have to use it over here the uh, data in hours and minutes we want to check it over here h h column we have minute mi so let me check what is the time in our uh, system uh, currently time is here that is the 12:56 it's a 12:56 so now if you want to use it over here if time is here or this one is a time that is in time in that uh, yeah, our time between we have to use it over uh, yeah, not between if we are having the this one day or time or time between let me use it over bit uh, we are using it over a between time between we see what is the time now it's a uh, 12:57 so we i am using the variables the time between 12 to 15 mean next 3 hours user may not be able to 12 to 
to 14 or 12 to 15 right so what we have 12 and what should be the next times so that should be the 15 so that that we see that that is a break time so and this these break time user are not allowed right uh, or even if we say that uh, time between so that is so in such cases that that is not allowed if these are the time is that then in such cases that should be raised in error message so it say that we are having uh, raise application error and for that one what should be the error any error we can use it over as the number of error we say that we are using it over here let's say minus uh, 20,000 and uh, then we say what is the error we say that sir you are not allowed you are not allowed to perform operation at this you are not allowed during saturday or sunday or or the timing is or between 12 to 3 yeah. Right. So that will be the error message when we have to execute it over there. So now we have to end it over there and the if statement. Now again uh, we have to perform another operation like uh, and that is the end. Let me try and execute it. If things are okay, then it will work properly. now this one is executed successfully now we want to update operations previously we want to update the operation update the emp table that was working properly now if you want to update anything like update first name update last name update salary or anything else or uh, if you want to insert the data or if you want to update delete the data so let me check it over here select static from emp now no uh, restriction is there on the this one selection so we just use it over as on updation so let me insert insert into emp values we can perform it over as uh, any other operation let me say that uh, id is here 1000 now we have to use it over here as our first name we say that uh, rafi and then we have the salary we say that this one value of self is here execute it when we execute it so one row is inserted i think so uh, that is one now it doesn't take care of this uh, let me uh, change it over here not between so execute it and then let me re-execute it now now that what we have the time should not be between of this one so when we have the time between this if we are having such a day or Sunday or time between this so in such cases it will display the error message what is the error message that uh, HR implies square trigger and the trigger is here we are having error during the execution of the triggers message what was this you are not allowed during saturday or sunday or between 12 to 30 right so whenever we are having the such cases are there so in such cases that will be not allowed on saturday and sunday you will not be able to perform the operation or even the, um, between the 12 to 5 when time is that is there so you will may not be able to uh, perform these operations so that is a square in this way we may be able to secure the trigger we are having so many other ways are there and we can perform all of those operations uh, 
we are having so many other things we will discuss uh, those in details uh, in the next uh, video more example we will discuss thanks for watching the video have a nice time